Hi everyone, it's Ernest from Back to Basics. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little project that I started a few weeks ago. Um, for, I was just curious to see if I could grow cucumbers, cracky style, in a greenhouse, in a, pin, in a peanut butter container. And I'll show you how that fared and where we are with that. And I uh, hope you like it. Stay tuned. To start this new project, I've got some miniature white cucumber seeds that I collected from my harvest from last year. And I'm gonna try doing these as Kratky this year. So first step in doing this is I'm gonna be starting them off in rock wool cubes. So the first step that we have to do with this is to soak them. So we'll plop these into some water, let them sit for about 10 minutes or so, and we'll be right back. This next step is quite simple. Now I've just taken these out of the bowl and I haven't drain them. Just pick them up. See they're just still dripping wet. Do not squeeze rock wool. You don't want to do that. You're going to crush the tiny uh, air spaces that are in here. So the next step is just to place some seeds into here. Now I, I, I like to do two just because in case one of them doesn't come up I, uh, I don't want to uh, be without a, a plant. So first one that comes up and looks the strongest, I will pull the weakest. So we'll just get these in here. And get these into a bag. Now I've just put a little bit of water in here and that's just so that everything stays moist uh, without being drowned. So just place these into here and seal it up. I like to put a little bit of air in there just to keep it from collapsing, so. Now if you're wondering how much water I put in here, I just put enough in here just to cover the bottom to keep the cubes wet. You don't want it soaking up too much. This is sealed with a nice air gap. It's gonna keep the humidity in there. And I'll be placing this now into, uh, either under my lights or into the greenhouse, into some, some sunlight. And once we have some sprouts coming up, we'll continue with this project. Okay, everyone, it's now been nine days since we uh, planted these. And I want to point out right now that if you can see this, you see the amount of roots that are on here? This is now perfect for being able to transfer into my uh, crack key setups. They're going to be going into these peanut butter containers for now. So let's get them in there. So all I'm going to do now is push this into a net cup and uh, have this root hang through the bottom. And just like so, I hope you can see that. Okay, the next step to do is to get this filled with some nutrient. And we wanna make it so that when the water is poured into here, it's just gonna come up and just touch the bottom of the net cup. So you see I still haven't quite added enough to this because it's not touching the bottom of the cup. So let's top this up. And that's what I mean by just touching the bottom. This will be enough with that root hanging down to allow the plant to actually force more roots through the bottom of the net cup and we'll see its progress. And now we just drop the plant in. Now I'm going to put some hydrogen around this just to support it and then this is going to stay in this container until I see roots come down until it's almost about halfway down. So let's do that and we'll catch you next time. These have been going now for about a month. Um, I found that now that they're getting big, they, they drink the nutrient up really fast. So I'm putting, a, I'm putting about half of the container with um, um, Maxi Bloom uh, just so that it keeps throwing out flowers. And, and it is. And, and, and I'm doing this every you know, maybe once, maybe every five days. But just look at this, it's, it's, I'm letting it go, do its own thing. You can see we're starting to get our cukes starting. Flowers everywhere. You know, these shelves aren't being used. I use them a lot when I'm growing the beginning of the season, but I'm just letting these go. It's using up space that uh, isn't otherwise being used. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to 
top this one up today anyways let me show you what these roots look like beautiful beautiful Kratky style rooting system on this so you can see how well this is doing even with this little net pot so it's just having fun with it but shows you how easy Kratky is you can do anything with Kratky I'm starting to think and these cukes are coming along nice. I'm going to end off this portion of this experiment with the uh, cracky cucumbers. And I'll show you the progress later on with uh, the size of what we get. So, successful cracky so far in the greenhouse.